hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we'll be discussing about right inside SVG so this is pretty a uh, simple uh, shape so what we define here is width and height and you will be seeing the rectangle so straight away let's um, uh, uh, let's see how it uh, how does it look so here I have created rec but just I'll um, remove everything so okay so I have SVG box I created rec so by default let's see what is what it is plotting okay it is plotting nothing so first we have to give the dimension so let me give it as uh, 50 uh, percent of the uh, our view box and height as a uh, 50 percent of the view box okay now you see it right the width is 50 percent and height is 50 percent and default field color is there now whatever you are um, seeing this black which is like background color for other uh, HTML tags but this is called as a field color for the um, SVG shape so you can change that color here so we have rect here I can say a field and your favorite color okay so maybe it's orange for someone uh, so you can give it uh, as orange okay you see it right now uh, I'll make it as black only now what uh, what other properties that uh, rectangle have we can see okay so we have seen the width and height which is called as a dimension for any which is right so apart from dimensions we can give position for the the rect so position is nothing but x and y values right so which is nothing but the x and y values on the x and y coordinates of your svg um, uh, coordinate system so when you say uh, you can give it as an attribute or you can give it as a properties here when i say 20 and y 20 that means the 20 20 percent from your coordinate system right you see your uh, a rectangle um, is got shifted here right so you make it less and uh, it will get shifted here now uh, uh, our rectangular is getting outside of your SVG so you can make it as a VC overflow visible and you will be able to see um, a rectangle going outside your SVG like okay now we have seen uh, width height and x and y which is like position and the dimensions apart from that we can like uh, so you see these corners are very sharp right you can like make it less sharp using rx and ry so there are two properties called rx let me make it as a 10 now you see those corners are getting like rounded based upon that values so this is like very similar to what border radius does to other html uh, attributes uh, but like uh, border radius won't work here so let's say you are giving border radius for example 50 percent uh, you won't see that effect is getting here so you you see here right border rate is getting applied but it won't work here but you can give like rx as a 50 and you see the circle here right so there are like multiple ways you can create circle in the html or in the browser so the S if you consider svg as a uh, other part of the html then you can consider like using um, the rect also you can create a circle uh, all these properties can be animated we we can see that so uh, let me remove this uh, now okay uh, i think i have to remove i have to refresh it right okay so let's animate few things so to animate i'm using keyframe so to create a keyframe we have to give a name so right now i'm giving animate rect and let's say for uh, 100% will give some some change so let's say uh, initially x and y will be 0 so let's make it as a 50 uh, and see what animation okay so we have created an animation which says uh, at the end of the animation your x property should be a 50 but we really have not used this animation so we'll go and say a rect you'll be animated okay your animation name is rect you will be taking three seconds to finish this animation okay let, let's make it two seconds um, and let's see how does it look okay you see it right the the animation is taking its place and we are seeing x property is getting changed likewise you can say okay y property will also get changed to 50 so that it will get uh, shifted to the the other corner so like this one okay so now we have seen x and y are getting uh, uh, animator let's say if uh, width can get animated so let's say 100% uh, 
you see it right your width is getting animated likewise you can create um, okay if i make a height as say five percent uh, let's say it is kind of loader right so initially let's say i make width as a, a zero uh, now this is acting as a loader right so you can do anything or, or you want to increase it vertically uh, like i mean like there is no limit you can do uh, you can uh, have here so let me make it five and you see okay with oh five percent okay you see it right so there are like multiple ways you can do it uh, not the way you want to um, uh, you can you can have like anything you can just play around these properties and you'll be seeing uh, oh spelling is strong you see it right so there are a lot of things you can do uh, uh, using rec property uh, okay one property we wanted to see here was uh, uh, giving edge so i'll just comment it out so we wanted to make this um, edges as like less sharp um, so yeah you can use rx i think we discussed it but yeah uh, and you see the circle is made so when you don't specify ry it will take the rx value and if you want to specify um, you can override its value likewise so any shape you can create um, you base using these six values uh, that's pretty much for the rec so nothing nothing pretty uh, pretty hard here to understand so um, i will post all the links that we have used basically we use only this uh, this link so i'll post this into the channel um, so thank you so much for watching this video bye bye